to him it probably means nothing, but to a young 18-year-old, obviously, at the time, it means the world. Oh. John Terry's at a given. I was going to say, yeah, Chelsea. Was a... But I never, obviously, I never played with him, but right. one thing I remember with him is, like, as soon as I'd signed for Chelsea, I had to walk from the academy building across the first-team car park to get to the train train station at Cobham there was like a walkthrough that you can get through the training ground and I'd never met any of the first team players at this point and as I was walking through he was just leaving in his car but he stopped and wound down his window and like made like a real like not a beeline but made an effort to speak to me he knew everything like he was just just like making small talk and I was 18 and 19 no I'd have been 18 and he's just like walking on air afterwards right yeah, it was just like, it was kind of surreal because he knew everything, knew where I'd come from. He knew stuff about me that I wouldn't expect someone like him to know. And he just made that effort, which wow. for a young player, obviously I wasn't part of the first team then, goes a long way with someone that age. Did you think, oh, this guy's going to go into management? Like when you like now thinking about it, just yeah, that could... sounds quite... Is captain material also managing material, do you think? Some some of them, yeah. I feel like th- not necessarily, I don't, you don't know what they're going to be like tactically, but mm. those captains that I've mentioned, so if you, even if you look at Russell Martin now, he's doing a really good job as a manager. Um, but it's the, the man management thing, whilst being a manager, is something that I get comes from being a good captain. Yeah, it just feels like it's a sort of step inside there. So, so all those all those captains were kind of like John Terry, as in really good people. people yeah, managing, but yeah. So, so yeah, the, they literally were people. Bring people. out the best in people because I was just thinking about that John Terry thing. That will that will make you feel more included. That will make you feel more confident. That will make you feel like you sort of deserve to be there and all those kind of yeah. things. Those so get over a few hurdles in your head. Sort of. That's yeah, something. and That's but then yeah. so obviously there's things like that which is obviously means to him it probably means nothing but to a young eighteen year old obviously at the time it means the world. Well, but I wonder if someone did that for him, or because I think sometimes or maybe didn't or you know what I mean. What what yeah. makes him what makes him do that? I don't. Yeah, I so don't it's know. just interesting because you go it made such a difference to you. Yeah. So. I wonder if he was aware or just something naturally he does, which makes him the captain, if you know what I mean. Because that's what he does. That's what he makes people feel like. I I don't know who his captain would have been, whether it's like Dennis Wise or someone like that. God, well, because I was also thinking he's also captain because he's an absolute monster. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I would turn up on time. I would give my all for John Terry. And I would be very... (laughs) I would be very on it with it. <laughs> I can't imagine. I would not turn up with a hangover. That's what no. I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's a given, John. If you're listening. Um. <laughs> but so I was saying about the the other things the captains mm. have to do. So, oh yeah, because Coops is obviously captain at the minute, fresh in my mind. He, alongside general things that you think a captain does, he will be like they'll do things with the club. So there's events that the captain, people might not even know about. They might not get like put out on social media and stuff, but as the club captain, he will go to them. He will be like the, he's the face of Leeds. Oh, if you like, know what like I mean. charity events. and Yeah. So he does all that yeah. kind of stuff. But then also say for instance, at let's say Christmas time as an example, the, he would do a whip around, which doesn't have to be done. And so, uh, to be fair, most places have been, or if, there's a few that haven't done it, but they he will go around all the players and he will organise, let's say, look, everyone give me 200 quid. Um, and he'll put it into a kitty and then he'll split all that between staff who wouldn't necessarily see anything from... So he'll make sure that the captain's job, he's, especially Coop, sees it as... He's not just looking after the players on the pitch and training ground. He's looking after the whole and making sure that everyone feels included. The kitchen staff, the cleaners, the kit men, the kit women, they're like, everyone's inclusive. And he does everything to make sure that everyone is part of it. Which I think is hard. If you think about it, it's a a big job what he has to do. Like, he does have to do a lot. I was just thinking, like, 
because I, I love the idea of like I love the idea of being a captain on Saturday, walking out first. Oh yes, please. But then I also like the idea of going home at two o'clock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'm not having bit, the, ex- I'm a the extra bit, responsibility. Yeah, I'm a little bit torn because I, I'm I'm probably not captain material because I like the show of it, as in armband, you know that kind of puffed up at the front just in front of the keeper for the Instagram keeper, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Instagram yeah, picture, yeah, yeah. But then I think my yeah the kind of right we're going oh okay we're going to. Go to a primary school, are we? And, okay, there we go. Right, really? Really? I'm a bit coldy. I'm a bit coldy, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'd also be worried about the charity events who turn up and people going, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't I'm, expect uh, him to turn up. Who's that? I'm the lead, I'm the lead, I'm the lead special free kick taker. <laughs> Slash captain. I, um, <laughs> I come on usually the last 15 minutes and I... I, I always score. So to be fair, you. if you nail down that specialist <laughs> role, you could be a, a shoe in for the vice captain role now. Well, I'm an, I'm a, and I'm older, yeah. so I've got I'm an experienced head. I haven't played any football, but I've lived a life. Streetwise, I'd say. I'm streetwise. Exactly. That's got to bring something. Surely, I'm I'm a, I'm almost double the age of most of the players. That's got to that's got to be worth something. Surely, but well, you, know. you should you should automatically be respected. I mean, whether whether it works out like oh, that, no, I don't no, know. No no. <laughs> no, no, I think my level of respect generally from the public has gone down hugely.